I love kicking back, relaxing, and looking at the stars. Isn't outer space just so beautiful? To you tiny earthlings, when the sky is clear, all the stars in the night sky look like tiny specks of sparkling light. Hey, look, that's the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is what humans call an asterism, or an easily recognizable pattern of stars that form a picture in the sky. The Big Dipper is part of a constellation, which is a larger group of recognizable stars that form a picture when you connect the dots, at least from your perspective on my surface. Here, I'll show you. If you took an imaginary marker and drew a line between each of the stars in the Big Dipper asterism, you might think you see a big bowl with a handle. Or maybe you imagine you see a wheelbarrow, or a wagon, or even a fishing net. That's the cool thing about constellations and asterisms. Humans have given them meaning through culture, and people from different countries have imagined different pictures in the same star patterns. If we connect more stars to the Big Dipper, we find the constellation Ursa Major, or the Great Bear. Let's find some more constellations. Over here is Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, which means if we connect these stars, we'll see Canis Major, or the Great Dog. And here's Orion. He's a hunter. He's easy to find because of his belt, made up of three bright stars in a line. Earthlings have been looking up at the sky for centuries and assigning meaning to what they can see. The constellations have helped humans navigate my surface or know what time of year it is. Since I rotate and move in an ellipse within space, the night sky is a reliable way to determine direction. Throughout time, sailors have used constellations to know which direction they're sailing in the middle of the ocean, allowing them to explore me. In the United States, runaway slaves used the Big Dipper asterism to find their way toward freedom at night. They followed Polaris, or the North Star, in the Big Dipper. In ancient times, farmers used constellations to determine the right time to plant crops. Today, astronomers still sometimes use the ancient names of these constellations to talk about outer space. All of us can enjoy their beauty and their history just by going outside.